Welcome to Healthy Lifestyle Tips, your go-to destination for a healthier, more vibrant you. We're here to share, educate, and inspire, providing a wealth of health information to serve your wellness journey with us. You'll discover tips, guides, and fascinating insights into the world of health and wellness. So why not join our community by subscribing? Enjoy regular updates and become a part of our mission for a healthier world. Today we delve into a topic that affects millions of women worldwide, endometriosis. A mouthful, isn't it? But what exactly is it? Well, let's unravel this medical term together. Endometriosis is one of the most common health issues women encounter, affecting as many as 1 in 10 women globally. At its core, endometriosis is a condition where tissue similar to the lining inside the uterus, known as the endometrium, grows outside it. Picture it like this. Imagine the endometrium as a beautiful wallpaper adhering to the inside of a room. That's the uterus. Now imagine if the wallpaper starts spreading outside the room onto the hallway. That's endometriosis. This rogue tissue can attach itself to other organs in the pelvic region, like a stubborn vine, potentially causing pain and other complications. It's a bit like a garden where plants start growing where they shouldn't. Sounds complicated, doesn't it? But let's break it down further. So what causes endometriosis? This is a question that has puzzled scientists and doctors for decades. There are several theories out there, and we'll delve into a few of them now. One of the most widely accepted theories is retrograde menstruation. This is when menstrual blood containing endometriosis cells flows back through the fallopian tubes and into the pelvic cavity. Instead of leaving the body, these displaced cells then stick to the pelvic walls and surfaces of pelvic organs where they grow and continue to thicken and bleed over the course of each menstrual cycle. Another possible cause is an immune system disorder. It's thought that in some women, the immune system may not recognize and destroy endometrial tissue growing outside the uterus. Surgical scar implantation is another theory. After surgery such as a hysterectomy or C-section, endometrial cells could attach to a surgical incision. Despite these theories, it's important to remember that the exact cause of endometriosis remains unknown. Now that we know what might cause it, what are the signs that someone might have endometriosis? Endometriosis often comes with a series of symptoms. It's like a clandestine visitor that leaves a trail of signs yet remains hidden until you know what to look for. The most common symptom is painful periods that go beyond the usual menstrual cramps. It's a pain that's deep, throbbing, and can last for several days. Another symptom is pain during or after intercourse. Some women also experience discomfort during bowel movements or urination, especially during their periods. Excessive bleeding is another sign. This could mean heavy periods or bleeding between periods. But perhaps one of the most concerning symptoms is infantile fatigue. Endometriosis is one of the leading causes of infertility in women, often discovered during the pursuit of getting pregnant. It's important to remember that these symptoms vary greatly from woman to woman. Some may experience severe pain, yet have a mild form of the disease, while others with advanced endometriosis might have little to no pain. These symptoms can be quite challenging, but fortunately, there are treatment options available. Despite the challenges, endometriosis is treatable. Treating this condition often involves a multifaceted approach tailored to each individual's unique circumstances. Pain medications, for instance, can help manage the discomfort associated with endometriosis. These may include over-the-counter pain relievers as well as prescription options. Hormone therapy is another common treatment method. This can help slow the growth of endometrial tissue and reduce or even eliminate the pain. Hormone therapy may involve birth control pills, patches, or even injections. In more severe cases, surgical procedures may be necessary. This can range from conservative surgery, which removes the endometrial growths while preserving the uterus and ovaries, to a more radical procedure like a hysterectomy. It's important to remember the treatment should be a conversation between you and your healthcare provider, considering your symptoms, your plans for having children, and the extent of the disease. Remember, if you're experiencing any of these symptoms, consult with a healthcare professional. Endometriosis is manageable, and you're not alone. So there you have it, a quick overview of endometriosis as we've explored this condition, its causes, symptoms, and possible treatments. Remember, Understanding endometriosis is the first step towards managing it effectively. It's crucial to consult with your healthcare provider if you suspect you may have it. 
Thank you for joining us on Healthy Lifestyle Tips. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more health insights. Until next time, stay healthy.